let's create some art. Oh, hello guys and welcome to Art with Mr. P. Of course, I am Mr. P. And if you're new to the channel, here is where we learn how to draw and we have fun while learning. All you need is a pencil, marker, some paper, and a creative imagination. So let's not waste any more time and let's get right to it. Next shape. So first we're gonna start off with the bottom. You ready? And we're gonna go, we're gonna make a, a half C, okay? And then we're gonna do the same thing, but we're gonna make a full circle starting from the left side up and bring it around and remember if it's not straight it's quite all right it's about having fun okay so the next thing we're going to draw we're going to draw a triangle starting on the left side and we're going to do this way and up and then down like that then we're going to come on the other side, exact same spot, and we're going to do the exact same thing. But this one's going to be a small one. Just like that. All right. Now, we are going to start on the left side, on the top of the hair, and we're going to make a small circle, half circle, if you will. So we're going to do this. You ready? Just like that. Okay. And then we are going to come on the opposite side of this line. And we're going to make a double line. We're going to bring this line all the way up to the middle. Just like that. Okay. Now we're going to finish this off on the other side. We're going to do the same exact thing. So we're going to make another point. We're going to curve. Down and back up, just like that. Okay, so both sides have a little point. All right, so we're going to come back up to this half circle on the left side and we are going to make another half C. But we're going to make it up just like that. Okay, now we're going to make another half C, but it's going to be going the opposite direction. We're going to go left with the C. Just like that. So now we're going to make two upside down U's. So we're going to go one, two, and now we're going to make a half C. And whoop, there we go. Just like that. All right, all right, so now what we want to do is we want to come on the opposite side and we're going to make another small little circle. Just like that. Pretty cool. So now we're going to come up, we're going to take that circle and we're going to make another half C, but we're going to flip it kind of sort of. All right, so we're going to go up, half C. See? Now we're going to make another half C, but we're going to go to the right. All right, starting from the top. And we're going to go down, just like that. Good. Hope you guys are following me, All right? Thumbs up? All right. So we're going to make another upside down U. We're going to make two of them. So we're going to go one, two, and then we're going to make the big upside down C at the very bottom. Just like that. Now you guys don't have to make the noises or the sound. I find it best works for me. But at any rate, um, we are going to continue with the left side. So we're going to draw another half C up underneath the triangle because that's going to make the inside of our ears. So you ready? Just like that. It doesn't have to be that big. Just like that. Cool. And we're going to switch to the right side. And we're going to do the same thing. We're going to draw a small ball. Half C underneath the triangle. You ready? Pretty cool. All right. 
Now, she has big eyes, right? So we want to make a T-shape. So with the T-shape, you don't have to draw it, but we just want to make an imaginary T with our finger, right? So that we know we keep it, we keep it straight. So we're going to make a line just like that on the left side. We're going to do the same thing for the right. So you take your finger in the middle and then you do the same thing. It almost looks like she's sleeping, right? But she's not. Now, we're going to take from the left side and we're going to make a Side. And we're going to come to the right side and we're going to do the same thing. Okay? And let's do the same thing. Up and over. Alright. Looks like we are in business. So, in the very middle, let's make a small, tiny circle. Just like that. Move over and do the same thing for the other side. And tiny circle. Just like that. So now we are going to draw another circle around the tiny circle, maybe about the size of a penny. All right, and we're going to make that circle just like that. We're going to come over and do the same thing for the opposite side. Ready? All right, pretty cool. Nextly, we want to draw her nose. So her nose, it's like a, like a, it's a triangle, and you just kind of take it and bend it, bend it, so just like that, and then down, and then we are going to make a small circle underneath it, a half, a half C, I apologize, a half C, right up underneath it, so her nose is like a little triangle, we're going to go from the top of the top of the triangle, slightly to the right, and we're going to go up just like that. Okay. Ooh. Now that we have our eyes drawn, we need to make some eyelashes on the side. So we're going to make four. All right. Four straight lines. So one, two, three, and four. We're come on the other side and we'll do the same exact thing. One, two, three, and four. And remember, like I said, it doesn't matter if it's not straight or not. It's more about you learning and having fun. And you can always go back and make corrections. So now we are going to make a happy face smile right up under the triangle that we have here. Okay. So we're going to start from the left and come all the way to the right. Simple. Okay. Now come back up to the top of the starting line. And then what we want to do is make another half seat. The other side, we're going to do the same exact thing. So now we want to show that her mouth is open. So we're going to make, we're going to start from the bottom of the corner of the left side here, and we're going to draw an open smile. You ready? Just like that. Open smile. Now she looks kind of sort of like a vampire. So what we want to do is we are going to make another line from here all the way over to make her teeth. Now we're going to give her some vampire teeth. We're going to put these triangles right on the bottom of that line, okay? One, two. We're going to scoot over to the right. We're going to do the same thing. Good job. And last but not least, we have to make her eyebrow. There. For the right side. Pretty cool, huh? And then lastly, we can just kind of give her a little small neck. So we're going to make a little line from the left. And then we're going to come to the right side. There we go. We have Vampirina. Looks pretty cool. All right. So what we want to do is we want to color it in.
guys, thank you so much for stopping by and learning how to draw with Mr. P. If you had a great time, press that like button. Give Mr. P a thumbs up. If you don't wanna miss another video, press the subscribe button. Let a friend know, let a family member know. You guys come on back and everyone can enjoy in learning how to draw with Mr. P. Thank you and until next time, keep creating.